Hi, I'm Phoenix1278, and this is my beginner's guide to Dead and Buried. Shut up and sit down. Okay, so you've got your Oculus, and by now you should know it really messes with your senses. So the first thing you're going to want to do before playing this game is to clear your play area. Make sure your space is nice and clear, because you're going to be moving around a little bit and waving your arms around, throwing some dynamite. So make sure there's nothing there that you can trip over and hurt yourself on. See, it's quick, it's easy, but Mr. Baggins might not approve. The next thing you're going to want to think about is your footwear. You don't want any shoes that are going to pinch your toes or hurt the balls of your feet as you're going to be crouching down a lot in this game. Personally, I like to go for monster feet slippers. Ooh yeah, comfy but comical. What? I'm an adult aren't I? The next thing you want to do is get tethered. That's right, these little bits. Make sure you've got them wrapped around your wrist because as I said before you're throwing dynamite in the game and you don't want to throw these things into your monitor. Monitors aren't cheap and neither are touch controllers so make sure you get tethered. One last real world thing before we jump into the game is don't forget about the cable. As I said before, you're going to be crouched down and moving around in this game and I can almost guarantee that you're going to tread on it at some point. So just make sure that you shuffle it out of the way and you know where it is. Okay, so that's the boring stuff out of the way, so let's jump into the game. So you've made it into Dead and Buried, so let's have a quick look around the main menu. Over the back is Avatar, Settings, Credits and Quick Game. These two are pretty self-explanatory. Avatar is where you want to go to change your character skin and settings is where you want to go to change your mic to push to talk if you've got a noisy household or a party going on. Down the bottom is target range, quick draw, shootout, horde and robbery. These are your five game modes. If you haven't played the game, start at target range. It's just you shooting targets so it's nice and easy to get used to. Quick draw is one on one, multiplayer in a tournament structure, shootout at high noon. Shootout is 2v2 or 1v1 team deathmatch. Horde, if you're experienced with any sort of games, the Horde is just waves of enemies with you and your friends shooting them. And Robbery is almost exactly like Shootout, except you work your way through different stages and if you're the bad guys, at the end, crack a safe. And if you're the good guys, you've got to stop them. Now, last on the list, which is usually a little bit difficult to see, is your friends list and your invites, which is just up there. Now obviously I've got no one there at the moment because I'm a loner. And my invites, well, same thing really, no friends. So if you're new to the game, then I definitely recommend that you start off at the target range. So, without further ado, let's go shoot some targets. So here's Mining Town. If you have a quick look around, there's just a couple of buildings, we targets, tin cans, bottles and lamps. You can all shoot those. To get your guns, you can't just hold your hands out. If you look down, they're there. Push the buttons, and you've got your guns. To reload them, look out, click back in again. Now this little handle here, puts that up, and once it gets to the top, some targets come out. There you go. This switch here, brings out some minecarts. These guys got some targets up, or some pictures. And this button here, fired some dynamite. Missed. Anyway, well that's basically what goes on here. I shall uh, shoot away and let you watch. Up next is Crow Canyon, if we just take a quick look around. As you can see, it's, it's much scarce than Mining Town, but it's still pretty good fun to play. This one is definitely more about old style duck hunt than anything else. So, I'll just shoot some targets and let you see what's what. Last but not least is the saloon. Now this is much more of a traditional shooting gallery. As you can see there's targets and things popping up all over the show. Now the advantage the saloon has over the rest of 
the target ranges is that this one you can actually pick up dynamite and throw it. It's the only place where you get a chance to practice throwing when you're not in the multiplayer. So I'll just uh, shoot a few targets and let you see what's going on. Okay, so that's the target range done and out of the way. As I said before, it's a good place to warm up. So go give it a go and try and beat my scores. Now, on to some multiplayer. So up first is Quick Draw. It's a simple one-on-one -on -one with up to four players in the tournament structure. It's all about the fastest draw, so you need to be quick and aim for the head. And that's pretty much it for this one. Oh, let's go for one more, shall we? shooting all over the show. <laughs> I'm thinking you're gonna win. <laughs> I don't get out much. <laughs> then comes shootout, a one-on-one -on -one or a 2v2 team deathmatch. For this you're gonna want to crouch down and use the cover around you. If an opponent can see any part of you then you can be shot and killed. So don't just stand there, get your head down and hide. Cover up and then you won't get shot so much. Oh and by the way, don't hold on to the dynamite for too long, it will blow up in your face. So there's a quick look at the shootout. You can see the full versions of all those clips in my other videos, so go check those out. Now let's quickly jump into the horde mode and see what's going on there. And that's Horde Mode, just you and a few friends working your way through 12 waves of enemies. The boss turns up on levels 4, 8 and 12 and teamwork is the key to being able to take them down. Now, Horde does go on for a little bit longer than the other games and your shoulders might start aching. So just drop them down to your sides in between the waves and give them a quick shake and it should make you feel a bit better. Also, when you're facing the bosses, some of them, if you crouch down, they'll fire straight over the top of your head. Little inside tip there. Last but not least on the list is Wobbery, or Robbery for short. It is exactly the same as Shootout except you only get a few lives per level and you have to work your way through separate stages. If you're the bad guy you have to crack the safe. You'll find the code for the safe at the beginning where you mess around with the cards and you hit the join button. So just take a quick peek at that if you're the bad guys and you should be fine. But be warned, they will be shooting at you when you're trying to crack it.
So there you have it, that's my beginner's guide to Den Buried. As a quick recap, you want to clear your space, you want to wear some comfy shoes, you want to watch out for the cable because you will trip over it. In quick draw, you want to be quick and aim for the head. In shootout, you want to get down, get behind cover and keep your head down because if they can see you, they will shoot you. In horde, teamwork does pay, so make sure you're not going rogue because some people do do that and it really winds everyone else up. And in robbery, don't forget the code at the beginning, otherwise you won't be able to crack the safe at the end. So there you have it. Enjoy, and I'll see you in the games. Don't forget, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. And of course, don't forget to leave a comment down below.